prepare for blast off with a new adventure for kids. Follow Sai. This is definitely not safe. Annie. Someday I'll visit space for real when I become an astronaut. Armstrong. <laughs> Look what Armstrong found. And the Starship Hallie. I have been cooped up on that launch pad for so long. I really needed a little space. Bounce along the surface of an asteroid. Put a sample in your backpack, Sai. Oh, and the science fair for sure with this. Explore the moon. Bet I can race you in this, Miss Turbo Wheels. Ah, now you're really getting adventurous, Sai. Get up close and personal with the sun. Wow, a solar flare. And gain a new appreciation of our home. This is the story of a mission that unveils an age-old mystery. The mystery of a billion suns mystery of our home galaxy. A new space mission is setting off in quest of the origins of our Milky Way in search of the third dimension. It's the story of men and women doing their utmost to measure the distance to the stars, to faraway suns, nebulas and galaxies in order to understand how our world was formed. What do ancient myths and sagas tell us and the star maps of our forefathers? How was the Milky Way formed and how will it evolve? Join this fantastic discovery. Come with us on our journey to a billion suns. We're going to see a star, an astrophysical object in three dimensions with great resolution for the very first time. We've seen the sun from the dawn of humankind. But what we haven't seen is the view that we are going to get from the stereo spacecraft. And that's a three-dimensional view. We are in an era where we have introduced this concept of space weather because it matters to us now. We're extremely interested in what happens on the sun because we live in the atmosphere of the sun. So if the sun sneezes, the earth will catch a cold. We are studying the sun and Earth as a coupled system, not individually. By studying the sun, we are understanding this object that influences our life in every conceivable way. This is going to change the way we view the sun forever. In a world where one planet and one moon are floating in the dark abyss of space, long have they mystified humanity. And coyotes? Hey, I'm not getting paid enough for this! We are fortunate to live in the age of science. We have the tools not only to observe, but also to explore our neighborhood in space. The quest to understand has carried us farther than people could imagine even a few centuries ago. The picture we see is no longer of a flat world, but of an exciting new frontier that begins with Earth, Moon, and Sun. 
who knows what discoveries lie ahead. Oh.